Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And today I want to talk about how you can make a bathroom extractor fan smart. Now, if you're into smart home stuff like me, then the idea of having colored light bulbs in your bathroom is a really cool idea, especially if you want to get a mood set or even if you just want to be able to dim those lights so they're dimmer at night. This means that my current setup is to have Philips Hue bulbs in my bathrooms with a motion sensor. These are set to be nice and dim during the night when you still need to see, but you don't want bright lights to wake you up. And then during the day, they're set to come on if the daylight is dim enough. Now, the problem with a lot of the homes in the UK is that bathroom extractor fans tend to be wired into the lighting circuit. Now, in theory, this is a really good idea because it means if you turn on your bathroom light, your extractor fan comes on. This is good for making sure your bathroom is kept dry and moisture is taken out of the room. The disadvantage is that when you do come to use something like Philips Hue bulbs, what you find is that your bathroom fan is on all of the time. And whilst most bathroom fans are on some kind of timer, which means after 15 minutes they cut out, that means it's on for 15 minutes and then never on again. So I spent a bit of time doing some research on how to make bathroom fans smart. And you can't actually buy a smart bathroom fan that I could find. What you can, however, do is add something into your wiring to make that bathroom fan smart. And that is a device by a company called Sonoff. Now I have done a full review of the Sonoff Mini R2, which is what I use, and I put that linked below. However, I wanted to talk about how to make your bathroom extractor fan smart. So your first step is to pick up a Sonoff Mini R2. These cost about 12 pounds each on Amazon, but if you buy multi-packs, you can get them for about eight pounds 60 each. Now the second step is to make sure you cut off the power to your devices at your mains board. Now for me, my bathroom extractors are ceiling mounted, which means the wiring goes into the loft. This meant I was able to go up into my loft space and remove the power that goes to the fan and add it into the Sonoff Mini. I could then use some new 2.5 millimeter cable to go back into the fan. This meant I was able to wire up without taking the fan off the ceiling. This also means, and this is really important, that because the Sonoff Mini is in the ceiling and not in the bathroom, it's kept in a dry space. And that's super important because these are not water resistant. This means you shouldn't have it in your actual bathroom. If you've got a wall mounted fan, this is gonna be much trickier to do, and you might want to look at some other options. Sonoff do do some water resistant ones, but you're gonna need to think quite carefully about your wiring. Once you've got it all wired in, you just need to switch back on your mains power and then go into the EWE Link app to set up your Sonoff Mini. From there, you can turn your device on or off and set schedules. This acts in the same way as a lot of smart home devices, whereby you can just have it permanently on and then you can control it. If you've got a fan isolator, wiring it this way means that the isolator switch still works, which is really important. Now, if you just want to be able to turn your fan on or off with your phone, then this solves the problem really easily. The thing is, however, like me, you probably want to automate that with your bathroom lights. So this is how I did it. Now, I am an Apple user, as you probably know if you've been around on this channel for a while. And so one of the things I use at home is a Raspberry Pi Zero and Homebridge. Now, Homebridge is a version of Raspberry Pi that allows you to add things to Apple's HomeKit that wouldn't usually be compatible. Now, one of those things you can add to HomeKit that wouldn't usually be compatible is the Sonoff Minis. And so using my Homebridge, I got that all set up. There are other options for achieving the same thing like Home Assistant. From there, because my bathroom setup is to have a motion sensor and Philips Hue lights, I could then use the automations in my Apple Home app so that when the bathroom lights came on, the fan would come on. And one of the things I like about the Home app is you can switch off that device after a set amount of time. This means I can basically set a timer on the fan and know that it's gonna stay on for as long as I need it to. This is particularly useful for making sure the room is kept dry and free of moisture when it's in use. And that's how you can use Philips Hue bulbs in your bathroom and make an extractor fan smart. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you have, do please like it. If you've got any questions, do stick them below and I'll try and answer those. If you want to pick up the Sonoff Mini, I have put a link below as well. And I will see you guys again soon.